I'm adventurous Kate, and I swear this is not offensive. This is only mud, Dead Sea mud to be exact. And I'm here at the Dead Sea in Jordan. And here it is. The Dead Sea is called the Dead Sea because there is no life living in it. There are no fish, which makes me very happy. No crabs, just a few kinds of bacteria. That's all there is. And because it's 430 meters below sea level, it evaporates faster. Because it evaporates faster, there's a lot more salt in it. And because there's a lot more salt in it, you can float. Additionally, you don't want to get any of that awful salt water into your mouth or into an open wound if you can help it. Because of the salt content, it is extremely easy to float. There are some people doing it down there. You just get in, scoot yourself along, and you're floating. No effort at all. You can see all that white. It's crystallized salt. It seems that the biggest joke here in Jordan is to hand you a piece of fish on a platter and go, from the Dead Sea. <laughs> now, as for the mud, there's this mud here um, that is supposed to have healing properties in it. So you're supposed to go into the Dead Sea for 10 minutes, cover yourself with this mud and let it dry for 20 minutes, and then let yourself rinse off and go for a swim in the Dead Sea again. I don't know if it's gonna work, but hey, I'll try anything once. And that is where you put the mud on here at the Dead Sea Kempinski. It is an absolutely beautiful November day here.